Hey, how's that breakfast? Over the years, Coyote Peterson has had, or at least he thinks he has had, a wide range of conversations with animals. I can speak sloth. So tonight, on Conversations with Creatures, we are visiting Ohio's number one science center, COSI, to speak with its species and find out if they are as excited to see Universal Pictures' new film, Doolittle, as Coyote is. You can talk to animals. Yes. I'm coming, Doc! With us tonight, Harold, the fast-talking turtle, Mrs. Owl, the one-eyed hooter, and Mr. Blue, the chillest skink from down under. In a special performance by the talented basketball playing rats, Bernard and Bianca. Now, here's your host, Coyote. Good evening, I'm Coyote Peterson, and welcome to Conversations with Creatures. Tonight, I will have a wide variety of guests on the show, many of which are the most intelligent animals I think any of us have ever seen. First up is a very handsome and very wise turtle named Harold. Good evening, Harold, good to see you. I can see you're very excited to get started. Okay, so first question, here we go. So, all turtles have shells. One thing people oftentimes ask me is, do turtles change their shells as they grow bigger? Okay, Harold, right into the microphone now. Tell us, what? do turtles change their shells? Of course not. Who is this guy? I thought I was getting interviewed by Dr. Doolittle. Is this a movie set? Am I on TV? Oh, look at all those cameras. Hello? Is this thing on? Well, uh, let me show you my good side. Oh boy, I always wanted to be famous. Ooh. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, Harold, over, over. let's turn this way. Just like uh, this. Hey you, don't touch my shell. Ah, this is the one that we all wanted Weirdo. to answer. Weirdo. Are you excited to see Universal Pictures' new movie, Doolittle? You better believe it. In fact, I already ordered my tickets. <laughs> yep, me too, Harold. Me too, buddy. <laughs> Harold, thank you so much for being here tonight and for answering all these questions to the best of your ability. Dr. Aldebo, if you would, please escort Harold down off of the stage as we prepare for our next guest. This next animal is known as a screech owl. I'm a very wise owl, Whee! and I have a feeling that some of the answers we're gonna get out of this hooter are gonna be pretty exciting. Welcome to the stage, Miss Owl. Uh, now you are a screech owl, very fascinating and adorable little owl. Yes, you're very, very cute. Now my first question, if you're ready, why do owls hoot? You know, hoo, 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 hoo. Hoot? Did he say hoot? I'll give you a hoot, mister. Owls do not hoot, we call. And we only call when we have something of intelligence to say to another owl. Very fascinating. Very, very interesting. No, yeah, I appreciate that, huh? Yeah, you know, actually my favorite owl call is the barred owl. I like how they, they call, you know, the who cooks for you, who cooks for you all. Woo, 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 woo. Woo, 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 woo. How awkward. Clearly this man is not an owl. Are we done here? Somebody call my agent. Okay, so last question. Oh heavens, is he still talking? Are you excited to see Doolittle? Finally, a sensible question. Of course, several of my avian friends will be starring in this motion picture. We need more birds on the big screen. <laughs> yeah. All right, Dr. Aldeboa, if you would, please escort our guest off the stage, and we're going to be getting ready for our next animal. Thank heavens this is over. Now okay. take me to the movies. Fine. Yeah, thank you. You did fantastic. See how she's winking at me the whole time? I knew that I was going to enjoy that interview. A little nervous about this one. It's our first international guest. This is the blue tongue skink from Australia. So, I want to make sure that I've got my questions all properly prepared. And obviously, I got to get into character. What's the blue that? tongue skink has a blue tongue. I got to have a blue tongue too. So, eating some blue candy. 
I've got my blue tongue ready. This animal speaks in tongues. I've got to be able to relate with this animal. That's how you say hello in skink. These animals communicate using their tongues. Now, I have to tell you, I'm a little nervous because you are our first international guest, so we will get right down to the questions. Uh, okay, here we are. Hey there, Mr. Blue. Are you excited for the upcoming release of Doolittle? Boy, does a kangaroo have a pouch? You better believe it. Well, wait, this movie's gonna be a real ripper. Oh, I can hardly wait, mate. Yeah, no, I know, me too. I cannot wait to see all of the surprises that they have in store for us. All right, well, thank you so much for being here today, Mr. Blue. I think it is time that we move on to our next and our featured guest of the evening. I know you guys have all been waiting for this moment. Our official sporting event is about to begin right after this commercial break. <laughs> hey, mate, I was about to give me a lick of that lolly. <laughs> What we're going to do next is actually put these two rats into a basketball court and watch them play this incredible sport. Are you guys ready? All right, I'm gonna pick you up and put you in the court. Oh, they know that it's time. Here we go, Bianca is headed into the court. And Bernard, if you are ready, let's head off and into the court, there we go. So what I have here is what we would consider a rat basketball. And as you can see, they are warming up on the court. All I need to do is drop this ball right into center court for the tip off. And before you know it, these rats are gonna get the game started. On the count of three, one, two, no, 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 stay inside the court. Three, time for rat basketball. All right, guys, go for it. Oh, and Bianca's got the first ball and ooh, slam dunk. That means that she has earned a little Cheerio treat. And here comes Bernard. He now recognizes that, well, it is time to play some basketball. Bernard, oh, look at that, all the way through the hoop. Have you ever seen a rat actually dunk down and through the basketball hoop? Okay, Bernard, there is your Cheerio treat. And Bianca scores two more points. We've got a nail biter here. Okay, Bernard has got the ball, dribbles down court. Oh, from the free throw line, slam dunk all the way through the hoop. And Bianca, two-handed slam dunk, almost broke the rim on that one. These rats just keep going. Have you ever seen rats this athletic? Now this is a part of these rats daily enrichment, which means that this is their exercise. So playing basketball is a good way to earn some extra treats and of course, to make sure that they are healthy and fit. I cannot keep up with how fast these rats are capable of dunking basketballs. Here comes Bianca going for the steal. Oh, is she gonna get away from Bernard? Bernard playing defense, Bianca makes the steal and two-handed slam dunk. We've got ourselves a tie game. Here we go, coming for the treat. You know, they're actually faster at getting the treats than they are dunking the basketball. But as you can see, these rats have learned that as long as I get that ball or the ball and my body through that hoop, there's a good chance. In fact, a definite chance you're going to get that Cheerio enrichment treat. Oh, Bianca, I think she's gonna take the win. Bernard, does Bianca win? I think Bianca has won the game. Well, I would definitely say it was a very educational day. And my ability to communicate with animals, from the box turtle to the screech owl, the blue tongue skink, or even basketball playing rats, would maybe even impress Dr. John Doolittle himself. I'm Coyote Peterson. Be brave, stay wild. We'll see you on the next adventure. All right, you guys ready for another round of basketball? Sounds good to me. <laughs> Thanks for watching my show, guys. As you can see, having conversations with creatures can be a challenge, even for a coyote. But we sure are excited to see our animal co-stars up on the big screen. I don't know about you, but I'm definitely excited to see Doolittle on January 17th. And I know this reimagining of the classic tale is certain to be packed full of charismatic creatures and will be a grand adventure for the entire family. Well, that's a wrap. How'd I do? Okay, come get me. I'm flying again. Yahoo! Hey, Coyote Pack. If you enjoyed Conversations with Creatures, make sure to go back and watch our last collaboration with Universal Pictures, where we travel deep into the caves of New Zealand to encounter the dragon-like world of bioluminescence. And don't forget, head to theaters on January 17th to see Robert Downey Jr. as Doolittle, 
where he will have his own conversations with creatures on the big screen.